Hey everyone, this is an unboxing of the new iPhone 13 Pro Max, the biggest phone Apple offers, uh, and this should be really, really cool to see, especially in the brand new blue, what do they call this? The official name is the Sierra Blue uh, iPhone color. The first thing you'll notice is there is no plastic on the box here. Apple removed the plastic, which apparently saved a huge amount of plastic, which I'm all for, didn't really need it anyway. It lasted maybe four seconds. Uh, and you also have a picture of the device on the front of the box. What's interesting is you actually have the back of the device on this box, whereas last year you had the front of the iPhone. Something interesting, at least I thought it was interesting. You have the Apple logos on the top and the bottom. It says iPhone on the sides. And to open this package, what you're gonna do is find the green arrow. It's a little bit of a pull tab, and you're just gonna give it a pull. And that will let you kind of open and unbox your brand new iPhone, flip it upside down, slide it out. Kind of be careful, it will slide out pretty quickly. And wow, there it is. This is the new iPhone 13 in the beautiful Sierra Blue colorway. This looks absolutely gorgeous. You have your lightning connector on the bottom here. You've got your power button on the right, volume buttons on the left, mute and ringer switch on the left as well. Let's peel this off and just quickly show you the hardware here. I mean, this is the Sierra Blue color. It's really, really beautiful. Uh, I like it a lot more in person than I thought I would. I was initially kind of against this color. I didn't think it looked very good in the product images, but here we are and I must say it looks really nice in person. It kind of changes with the lighting, sort of this great balance between a subtle blue, little bit of a gray. Um, and yeah, and of course, the other big thing besides the color is the cameras. I mean, look at that camera bump. This is colossal. It's almost like the iPhone has skin cancer or something and it's uh, continuing to grow. I mean, comparing it to last year's Pacific Blue, and you can see, first of all, the color difference, but the camera bump is bigger. It's not that much bigger, but it definitely is bigger and the new phone is definitely heavier. You can also see Apple made some subtle changes to the placement of the power button. It's actually, that's exactly the same. What am I saying? Let's, did they change anything on the volume side? Volume rockers look pretty much the same to me. Uh, the, <laughs> the SIM tray moved up. The SIM tray moved up a couple of millimeters on the new phone. That's what happened. That's the biggest change. And I will say if we compare the 13 Pro camera bump to last year's iPhone 12 Pro, I mean, it is a colossal upgrade. That is just a massive, massive camera bump. Um, but either way, those are kind of some of the differences. Uh, Apple actually made a lot more differences between the 12 Pro and the 13 Pro, the regular ones, not the max ones. So check out that unboxing video right up there if you wanna see some of those differences. But either way, uh, I think both look great. You can kind of see the different colors here and how they look. Some people will prefer the darker Pacific blue color. I think other people will really like this lighter blue color as well. Now let's take a look at what else you get in the box itself. Of course, you have your USB-C to lightning cable for charging your iPhone. It still does use lightning. And you have a little booklet here with some additional information. You've got your SIM eject tool, your I, I don't know, uh, literature, and then you've got a single Apple sticker. And that is what is included with your iPhone 13 Pro Max purchase. Some things that are noticeably missing are you're not getting a power adapter, either a fast charger like this one, which is 20 watts, or even a slower five watt power adapter. These are not included. So you're gonna need a power adapter already or just a computer with a USB-C ports. So you can use the included cable, but you're not getting a power adapter. You're also not getting any headphones. Apple used to include their Apple ear pods with the remote and microphone. Uh, these are no longer included. I mean, I literally have like maybe four or five pairs of these, so I don't need them, but definitely kind of a shame if you're getting your first iPhone that these are no longer included. I thought they worked great. Either way, that is what you get with iPhone 13 Pro Max. Click the like button if you found this video helpful and share it with a friend. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.